I was just earlier watching the news. Economy sucks, some more bombings took place, and the climate is changing rapidly. Well folks, all those things got me thinking. And after some long hours of doing so, I came to a realization. I want a drawing machine. I always did. You know the ones that people make where you mount up there your pen and it moves in circular motions, giving you all those trippy patterns. That one. Well, this is what we are making here today. There are too many ways of making gears, and I recently found out that the Azel is an easy and pretty accurate one. You just go under apps and gear generator. And you play a bit with your ratios and dimensions. There you go. Now let me get the G code. And as you may thought, we will be using the chords. I have already screwed some scrap pieces up there from previous runs. So I'm also gonna screw this 8mm thick MDF piece. And we are good to go. Yourself. The code was sending y axis to minus 12 mils for some reason. But there is no y minus here. I homed the whole thing to the very bottom of the y. So I had to hit the red button. I'll go now make a new piece of code for the remaining gears. And we start where we left. Oh, and those gears? They came out really nice. They mess together just right. pretty good. This side was a tiny bit lower 
because of the gap I've shown you. Between my million scrap boards. So a little cleaning is necessary. Here. Other than that, freaking magnificent. Oh, and this one. On this one, I forgot to remove the tabs from the program. So we have to cut it. Who wants to leave tabs on a gear? So these center holes here are supposed to be 6mm wide or 0.237 inches. And this drill bit is also supposed to be 6mm thick. Yeah, it is. So let's see. It's a bit tight. And another thing. It's a circle, thank god. This pretty much means that our beloved and recently finished new CNC machine is square indeed. They tell me it's a good thing. Who knows? <laughs> Thank you.
bad for the first run ok it may be a bit sloppy but I'll go ahead and tighten things a bit and change the marker ok here I am I stiffen things up just a tiny bit And remember that extra gear that we cut before? Well, there it is. And it's for lazy people. And there you have it, an eyeball, a blue eyeball. The cool thing with that is that you can make a ton of different patterns, switching between those holes on the levers or just skipping some teeth on those gears here. Every time you get another one, there. How cool is that? Now I think I'll set the camera and play with that for a ridiculous amount of time. And let me tell you what, I may not be the guy with the bigger or the fanciest tool collection out there, but folks, I have a power scissor. Have a nice one.